Hello everyone and welcome to this week's edition of the WT Coaches Show. I'm your host, Zach Barnes. Kicking things off for us this week is head baseball coach, Matt Vandenberg. Coach, how are you? I'm doing well. Thanks for having me. I'm coach. Have another good weekend as you went down to Dallas, New Mexico and uh, take uh, four games against Eastern New Mexico and got the four games sweet. Yeah, anytime you can go on the road in this conference and uh, and get a, and get a sweep for the weekend is a really good weekend. So really proud of the guys. Tough weekend, tough place to go and play. Um, Eastern New Mexico's got a really good club. Coach Gomez does a great job with them down there. And uh, you know, the first day um, we were pretty fortunate. Uh, played pretty well, hit the ball pretty well um, to get two wins, and then came back. Second day was a dogfight. I mean, honestly, either both games could have went either way. Uh, we were fortunate enough to, to win both those games, low-scoring games. Wind was howling in. And uh, we actually, you know, won the first game 2 to nothing, the second one 1 to nothing. Actually, thought we swung it really well. Uh, that's what's bad about that place sometimes. I mean, it's a huge yard. And when the wind blows in, there's just uh, – uh, you got to really hit some balls really hard, and we hit some balls hard, and um, you know it was right at them. Um, you know we had a lot of runners on base on third base with less than two outs, and they made some great defensive plays. You got to give them credit, um, you know. But then I thought we made some great defensive plays as well to 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 save the game. Uh, you know Blake Weaver in the in the two nothing game. I mean they had a chance to uh, to tie it up, and he makes a diving play to end the game and stuff. So it was just a great day of baseball. Um, you know that second day, and then kind of this past couple weekends really you've showed a lot of the depth that's in your team as you've had some injuries go down but your guys are still fighting and playing really hard like uh, Blake Weaver. Yeah unfortunately uh, we have had to show that depth but uh, fortunately because of that uh, you know we're getting some younger guys in there and they're proving that what well, we thought all along that we are a really deep team uh, that even if we get a couple guys hurt that uh, we can still go out and compete in this conference and, that, and that's what we're showing right now Blake Weavers, Chad Brown, uh, Roberto Carrasco, those guys came in this weekend, did an outstanding job. You know, obviously with us losing Josh Day, that that hurts us. Uh, then this past weekend, got another uh, key guy hurt, but I think he'll be back. Uh, Matt Cole uh, got hurt in the last game, and uh, you know those those younger guys are stepping up. Um, they're doing a great job, and that's kind of what we expected. You know, that's something that's different. The years past, we get somebody hurt, uh, you know, we'd lose two or three games, and um, you know that we shouldn't lose. And just because we didn't have that depth, you know, we'd have to play guys out of position, do some different things. And this year, um, those those younger guys are just stepping up, uh, knowing uh, what to do. Um, they're schooled. They're you know they work hard on the bench. Um, that's the things that we tell our guys on the bench. I mean, just be ready for your opportunity. Those guys have been ready for their opportunity. They're coming in, stepping in right away. Uh, they're not taking a couple games to to get ready. I mean, they're ready right when they get that opportunity, and they're doing a great job in keeping us in games, and we're finding ways to win. And up for you this weekend, it's another high stake weekend as you're going down to Texas A&M and Kingsville in a four game series and uh, got the lead in the conference standings right now with the one game lead and then A&M and Kingsville and Angelo State are tied for that second spot. Yeah, I mean, every weekend's big. I mean, we've, we're going to play this weekend down there at Kingsville. Obviously, they're a really tough team. Um, you know, it's a tough place to go play. It's probably one of the most difficult places to go play in the conference. It's a long trip down there, long trip home. Guys never look forward to it, but that's part of it. Um, I'm actually kind of looking forward to it because it's great weather down there typically, and uh, hopefully it should be good weather. I looked at the forecast, should be in the 80s and stuff. So guys should, uh, for, if you're a baseball player, what more do you want than hot, sticky weather, uh, 80 degrees and stuff. So uh, guys should be excited about that. But, the, you know, obviously we got to uh, – understand how the bus trip's going to handle our you know on our body and stuff so i think guys are be prepared for it uh, again we've got more depth so we can go a little bit deeper onto our bench and stuff don't have to play everybody four games and things that we've accustomed to in the last couple of years that we've had to do and stuff so excited about it but it's just another weekend i mean we got to go through this whole conference set up uh, you know the entire time over again before conference is set well coach i would like to thank you for joining us today and good luck this weekend i appreciate it thanks for having me Hello everyone and welcome back to this week's edition of the WT Coaches Show. Up next for us is head softball coach Kevin Blaskowski. Coach, how are you? Uh, I'm doing well, thank you. Well, coach, another successful weekend at Schaefer Park as you go 3-1 against the Cameron Aggies. Uh, the Friday games, you got the 9-1 and 11-1 wins in five innings and then uh, Saturday a whole different ball game with a 3-1 and then the uh, close 6-9 loss as the snowstorm came into town. Yeah, that was interesting. Uh, <laughs> and of course, when you when you're behind, you're hoping maybe the storm gets there a little bit earlier. But uh, you know, the way it did blow in, that was uh, that was that was some interesting weather and made it interesting trying to get out of the complex uh, after everything. But uh, you know, as far as the games go, I thought Friday we uh, 
we came out and offensively did a great job being the team that we're used to being and, and kind of were really relaxed and did a good, you know, did, did a very good job up and down the order of creating offense. And, uh, you know, both pitchers, uh, uh, Kylie in the first game and Alexis in the second game came out and just threw great ball games and controlled their bats. We knew coming in that, that they had the potential to be very offensive. So uh, I thought both pitchers did a great job Friday. You know, on Saturday we come out and, and Kylie did another outstanding job in the first game. And, and uh, you know, Courtney Coveney came up with a big bases loaded double to kind of break that game open for us. So we were, uh, uh, you know, we were sitting in a pretty good situation, but I was concerned that we didn't put them away. And that was my conversation between games was if you don't put a good team away when you have the opportunity to do it, they still believe they can beat you. And, uh, you know, lo and behold, we come out in game four and Chelsea Skipper gets the first two kids out and, you know, it looks like we're, you know, set up to do really well. And then, uh, you know, the wheels kind of flew off the wagon. We ended up giving up six runs in the first inning and have to dig out of that hole the rest of the day. And, uh, you know, just weren't able to do that. You know, they tacked on a couple more runs, and and uh, you know, it was uh, it, it was a frustrating loss because it's a game we should have won. Uh, but uh, in, in the big picture, we're we're 36 and two, uh, and you know, we have to be excited about the way we're playing and have to continue to look forward rather than spend a lot of time dwelling uh, on on the mistakes that were made and why that game was lost. Man. Coming up next for you guys, you'll hit the road and you'll hit uh, Texas A&M, Kingsville. Uh, what does that one look like? Well, that's a long trip. You know, that's that's the, the the first issue we have to deal with is the the long trip to Kingsville. You know, we'll we'll load up tomorrow early and and uh, we'll get uh, get out of, get out and get on the road, but we won't have an opportunity to practice probably when we get down there. So, uh, just a long travel day, and then we have to come out and play. Uh, four games against a team that's playing really well right now. You know, Kingsville went over and took four from Eastern New Mexico, and they scored 19 runs in the fourth game. So, you know, they're playing with a lot of confidence, and we've got to find a way to, you know, take some of that confidence away on their field because uh, this is a huge series. You know, we still have a a, a two-game lead in the loss column, so uh, you know we've got to we've got to do a good job. Uh, uh, in the last three conference series of going out and, and, and winning the series and, you know, having a chance to, to, to win the conference championship and, and host the postseason. And going into a weekend like this one, how can you try and avoid having a situation like you did whenever you had the long road trip with St. Edwards and Texas A&M Commerce? That's a good question. Uh, you know, we're going we're gonna to drive all the way to Corpus Christi on, th uh, you know, tomorrow and, uh, you know that's gonna that's a little bit different. We've usually driven part way and practiced, but I want to cut out some of the bus time. I want us to get there, get to the hotel, uh, and kind of relax. Uh, we'll drive back and forth from from Corpus to to Kingsville on on Friday, and then uh, you know Saturday we'll we'll get out late and head home. But um, yeah, I think the main thing is we've got to have really you know we. we Hopefully we, we have another quality workout today, you know, uh, and, and do what we have to do to, to, to prepare, get, get the workout in that we need to have uh, to prepare for Kingsville. And then a lot of it's just going to be mental and talking about preparation as we travel. Well, I'll you like that. Thank you for joining us and good luck this weekend. Thank you very much. I'd like to thank you for joining us this week on the WT Coaches Show for the WT Sports Network. I'm Zach Barnes, and we'll see you next week. Hello everyone and welcome to this week's edition of the WT Coaches Show. I'm your host, Zach Barnes. Kicking things off for us this week is head softball coach Kevin Blaskowski. Coach, how are you? I'm doing well. Well, Coach, uh, you just got home from a uh, long road trip. You had two different series. You took on St. Edwards in a doubleheader and uh, walked away with both of those a 1-0 and then a 5-2 win. 